There's a lot of people going around saying that there's no difference between nigga and nigger. Okay, first of all, nigger was a term used by white people in the 1900s and further down than that. Uh, it was a term used to disrespect de and degrade black people. It was a, it was a term white people use uh, to hurt uh, hurt their slaves, to hurt African Americans. And nig uh is basically a friendly term used by African Americans black people now basically when somebody uh, when a black person says what's up my nigga they're basically saying what's up my friend what's up homie what's up bro stuff like that nigger is completely disrespectful to African Americans okay nigger is basically calling African Americans dirty, worthless, unintelligent. That's what that is. And there's a lot of people going around saying that white people are not allowed to say nigger or nigga. Now look, there are some black people that will allow white people to say nigga. Nigga, not nigger. And I honestly do not care if a white person says nigga as long as they're being respectful. See, as long as they're being nice, as long as as long as they're being cool with you, I don't care. They can say nigga. If a white person listens to rap music, and hold on, let me say this. Music, rap music, play on a red, freaking radio every single day. Freaking rappers say nigga like crazy. So, of course, if a white person listens to rap music, they're going to develop the habit to say nigga. And if they listen to rap music, they can say nigga. And I said this, this a few seconds ago. I do not care if a white person says nigga as long as they're, they're nice, they're cool, and they treat you with respect. If they do that, they can say it. I do not care. Uh, my, uh, last year, last year, my friend, <laughs> my friend started uh, saying saying the, saying the word nigga. Well, he didn't necessarily start saying it. He was just joking around with it, just to get a reaction out of people. He didn't get a reaction out of me, um, <laughs> cause I knew he was just joking around. And he was all like, he said, yo, dude, let's be funny. When we go to school, I'm going to call you nigga. You call me cracker. So around breakfast time, we said it. We said it. We said it at the same time. He was all like, one, two, three. He said, what's up, nigga? I said, what's up, cracker? And we gave each other a hug. Nobody said anything. They just looked at us, and they just went along, went about their daily business. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that... Uh, uh, everyone would be okay with you using words like that because some people will still take offense to those words but then again some people will accept it honestly though I feel that people black people are so offended when uh, non-black say nigga because they uh they just don't want to let go of the past. They're, they're still holding on to the past. They're still holding on to what happened to the African American slaves all those years ago. And I just feel that we need to let that go, okay? If we if we truly want to become equal, get along with get along with each other, love each other, then we need to let all that freaking hate go, man. And I, I honestly think racism is still alive today. Not just for black people, but for white people, Asians, Mexicans, every single race. Racism is still alive. Because I still hear about it, not that much, but 
very rarely I still hear about it. Racism, I still hear racist comments going on about different races, not just blacks. And like I said, man, if we really want to cut all the racist stuff out, we need to let the hate go. And the racist jokes, I think the racist jokes really don't, uh, really don't help the topic either. I feel that it just adds more fuel to the fire. Like, um, you know the stereotypes that all Asians know Kung Fu? You know the stereotype that, uh, all white people are rich. All white people are uh, um, suicidal. You know the stereotype that every black person likes chicken and watermelon. Every black person, um, every person gets a uh, gets a girl pregnant and freaking at a young age. Stereotypes like that. Jokes like that, those are the type of things that keep racism alive.